shop update video. How's it going? It's been a while. Been busy this summer making all kinds of crazy zinc countertops. And just want to do a video update about what's been going on here in the shop. I'm in the middle of a stretcher production job. I'm a little more than halfway through, but it's been really dragging out this time. But I've done these before. This is nothing new and exciting. But what is new and exciting, I got some new product. Some new bumper crop coming in. I got low profile bumpers by popular demand and I'm gonna do a special sale as a pre-order promotional offering. A little marketing experiment. So stay tuned for that. So here is the stretcher assembly process and right off the bat I invented the toggle clamp tandem bar. A very simple jig enhancement. Uh, it's just a hole drilled in a 2x3 there. Uh, but it enables both toggles to be either engaged or disengaged at the same time. It's very responsive and it saves a lot of time in the production process and it's easier to grab as these metal handles are not very ergonomic. They do uh, hurt my hands. So it makes the job easier and, and most importantly it eliminates the need to reach all the way over to the far corner of that workbench to release the last toggle clamp at the end of the process. So that's extra wear and tear on the body in production when I'm doing 200 at a time, which is what this is right here. Um, so just eliminating that reach and that strain is a, a big effort saver. And I came up with the uh, magnet sanding block. This is a great thing. I wish I came up with these ideas before. But in my previous productions, I had a problem with this thing because I have to have it accessible on the workbench so it's easy to grab, but it's susceptible to get bumped and then knocked over. So this ends up on the floor about 50, 60 times. And that's a lot of bending over and picking stuff up in the middle of a process. And plus it's a, a risk injury for uh, backs. Uh, I could bump my head on the way up you know, it's you know anything like that just makes a long work day a lot, a lot longer. <laughs> so it's very simple. Uh, I just got a couple of these washers on both sides, and I sell these pipe magnets. These are the biggest ones I sell. They're not cheap, but by far they are the most useful. Very strong, and so this thing never falls off the bench. Now it's easy to grab. That solved that problem. So, those are my two big improvements here. I'm not expecting a big time savings, but it's mostly just a stress and strain relief. <laughs> Which, at the end of the day, means I'm less tired and sore, and I can either work longer or feel, feel better when I wake up in the morning. Um, so, as you've seen before, this is my rotating workbench carousel shelf contains the glue mess and keeps it accessible and this thing works great if you have the glue bottle solution I sell these two ounce Boston round bottles and this is a preventative to keep the glue nozzle from clogging up uh, this has been out since yesterday it's still ready to go as long as this rag is damp so I just moisten it with some water every uh, 24 hours or so And that'll keep it going and that's a big time saver because uh, you know especially with the fan on the airflow this thing clogs up in about 30 seconds and then you got to stop your production and deal with that so that makes it go a lot faster so that's the stretcher assembly not too exciting stuff but it always feels good to make an improvement to make it easier um, going to be making some cutting boards. I just pour, pulled this wood out of the garage and I'm going to sticker it and let it dry for a little while. 
I uh, discovered that when people come over to buy my cutting boards, they tend to buy the biggest boards I have first. And then I'm left with a bunch of small boards like this, which sell around the holidays when people are looking for cheap gifts. But I'm going to do a different approach here with my next production. I'm going to make some big, beefy boards with uh, this six-quarter hard maple. I'm going to do some cherry inlay for, for some stripey effect. People like the stripes. And uh, I'm just going to make some big boards and they're going to work with my big burly bumper feet and we'll put that on the market and see uh, what happens so but that's going to be stickered for maybe uh, six weeks or so um, this is just an example of a proper sticker job to allow airflow around all the boards and I like to cut them up to either the size or you know double them up you know just to make the pieces more manageable and uh, that also lets it dry out a bit quicker too so that's what I got going on and uh,